Hello everyone, welcome to our class and for this time let's discuss about object relations theory by Melanie Klein. So Melanie Klein emphasizes the uh, first four to six months of an infant's life while Freud on the other hand emphasizes the first four to six years of life. So that's how they differ. Um, for Melanie Klein, she considers her theory as a part of of a uh, Freud's theory, but Freud did not considered her or hindi siya nabigyan ng uh, ng parang recognition or acknowledgement. No, so quite sad. But uh, this is her theory. So again, uh, this are she emphasizes more on the four to six months of an infant's life, and uh, she like Freud emphasizes on the infant's drives like hunger, sex, aggression, and that these drives are directed at an object such as the breast, the penis, vagina, or other objects. So, yung bata pa daw tayo, when we are still infant, we develop this, um, then we develop this urges, this drives to destroy, no, to protect, no, yung breast ng ating mother, no, dun tayo nakaka- develop ng personality no, when we are still infant. And also, uh, may mga iba't ibang positions din na uh, na-discuss si Klein while a person or while an infant is still developing. no So, later on, I will introduce yung good breast, yung bad breast, tsaka yung mga depressive positions. no Yung first is we have paranoid schizoid position and later on, meron ding depressive position and uh, hindi niya hindi niya tinatawag na mga stages but more of positions no kasi pag stages of development para bang masyado na siyang uh, rigid na no so yun yung theory niya no so important daw yung mother child relationship sa personality ng isang tao so the child's re relation to that object is fundamental and serves as a prototype for all later relations to the whole object like the father and the mother. So yung object na pinapertain dito is yung uh, breast, no? So yung breastfeeding daw talaga, when an infant is born, meron daw talaga siyang impact sa personality niya. Okay, let's proceed. Um, fantasies, no? This is yung fantasy ng bata. It's about life. So, related yun sa uh, mother-child relationship kung ano yung nangyari, no? Or ano yung pinagdaanan ng, ng bata. So, may mga fantasies na build up yung isang infant, no? Whether kapag, um, like for example, good and bad, no? Kapag hindi nakamove on yung bata sa paranoid schizoid, na possession most probably magkakaroon siya ng hindi niya kayang i-compartmentalize or alam niyo yon na parang uh, whole meron talagang uh, goodness and badness na side yung isang person hindi talaga totally good or totally bad yung isang person objects naman this are the drives or the instincts were exerted and applied so we refer this as uh, being interjected or taken into the child's fantasy world and have a life of their own. So, nagkakaroon ng fantasy yung isang infant no, about life. So, uh, according also to her, we are not born in a blank state but already inherited predispositions to reduce anxiety by conflicts between life and death. So, hindi daw talaga tayo, nag, hindi daw talaga like tabula rasa tayo, no? When we are born, we already have a predisposition. Meron na tayong um, insight about what is life, about what is good and what is bad. So, we already inherited this or we already developed this while we are still inside the womb of our mother. So, ayun, again, very important sa kanya yung relationship talaga ng mother and child. Okay, she also places less emphasis on biologically based drives and more importance on consistent patterns of interpersonal relations. Also, um, rival sila ni, ni Anna Freud, no? So, ayun, may para siyang ano, para siyang uh, continuation or para siyang, um, tawag niyan, prequel ba ng theory ni Freud since sa infancy pa daw, nakaka-develop na yung bata, no? 
ng mga personality traits. Okay, so later on, meron tayo mga iba't ibang psychic defense mechanisms like introjection, projection, projective identifications, and internalization. So ito yung mga pamamaraan na ginagamit ng mga bata para hindi siya makafeel ng anxiety. Okay, so here are some related uh, concepts to Freud's instinct theory but differs in three important ways. So, we have here object relations theory is an offspring of Freud's and instinct theory yet it is different from it in some important ways. So, may relationship talaga sila para bang kinukonsider talaga ni Melanie Klein na related yung kanyang theory kay Freud na parang yun yung offspring, no? So, external objects refer to the parents, internal objects refer to significant people of a person's life. So, take note of that one. Uh, also emphasizes consistent patterns of interpersonal relationships. No? Kung paano inalagaan ng nanay ang kanyang anak. No? Minsan magkakaroon ng mga uh, iba't ibang uh, personality uh, development traits. No? Because how did the mother take care of her child when she was young? No? Perhaps, um, minsan nakaka-feel yung bata ng... Uh, na anxiety, hindi siya inalagaan ng maayos. So, definitely, lalabas yun paglaki ng isang bata. Also, she stresses intimacy and nurturing, no? Either uh, to uh, get the enough care from her mother. So, talagang emphasis dito yung alaga ng isang nanay. Relatedness as prime motive of human behavior. Yes, I uh, also emphasize the importance of 4 to 6 months, while Freud emphasizes first 4 to 6 years of life, and concerned on the formation of the self before the Oedipal stage. So, yeah, before pa uh, dumating dun sa point na magkakaroon ng Oedipus complex yung isang bata, ano, uh, na, may meron na, or nagkaroon na talaga ng formation yung personality ng isang person. Okay, so the child's relation to that object, uh, when, when we say object, again, ito yung uh, breast, ito yung uh, penis, yung vagina. So, yeah, ito yung mga uh, nire-refer na object. So, related daw talaga, no? Yung sexual drive or yung uh, destructive drive ng isang infant no? towards these objects, whether he or she, the infant will destroy it or protect it. No? So, ma-realize ng isang bata later on na ito namang mga bagay na to parang magka makaka-develop siya ng anxiety not to destroy it. And parang wala siyang control. No? So, makaka-develop din siya somehow ng traits na to nurture it. Parang gusto niyang sirain at first pero later on, she has or he has to protect it because baka mawala ito na nag-nurture sa kanya. Um, the very early tendency of infants to relate to partial objects give their experiences an unrealistic or fantasy-like quality that affects all later interpersonal relations. So, yeah. So, definitely, uh, her ideas tend to shift the focus of psychoanalytic theory from organically based stages of development to the role of early fantasy of interpersonal relations. So, related daw talaga, no? Yung theory niya kay Freud. So, talaga pinaglalaban niya talaga na yun yung uh, prequel or yun talaga yung offspring ng theory ni Freud. Pero hindi siya binigyan ng acknowledgement ni Freud. Okay, okay. So, uh, focus tayo ngayon sa positions or ito yung development na sinasabi ni Klein. No? Hindi niya gustong sabihin na stages of psychosexual development but she refer it to the position. So, ito yung position na uh, na nade-develop or na-experience ng isang infant. So, organizing experiences in paranoid schizoid, 3 to 4 months, this what happens, uh, includes both she or he, the infant, tries to organize his or her experience in a way that includes both feelings of persecuting and splitting of internal and external objects into good and bad. So, uh, yung isang infant, no, uh, later on, he will realize na hindi naman lahat totally good or totally bad, no? So, uh, she would feel paranoid, no? Which later on, uh, ma-realize din niya na kailangan niyang 
uh, iba or iba dapat yung pagtingin niya sa ganito. So, may merong good breast, merong bad breast, no? Sa mga objects. So, it includes the paranoid feelings of persecution and a splitting of internal and external objects into good or bad. So, uh, first kasi parang feeling niya na parang all good, no? Or all bad. Pero later on, uh, magkakaroon siya ng ganitong uh, uh, feeling, no? Na kailangan hindi totally good yung pagtingin niya or totally bad. May... Meron din good breast, merong bad breast. So, this identifies also the source as an object of drive or instinct which he desired to be in control with. Okay? So, um, yeah. Next is we have depressive position when the infant can already view an object as incorporated both good feelings and bad feelings. So, in this uh, period, no, uh, nare-recognize na niya na merong good feelings and merong bad feelings. Merong good breast, merong bad breast. So, hindi totally good or totally bad isang bagay. So, ganun naman talaga yung mundo, di ba? Tayong mga human beings, hindi naman talaga tayo totally good and totally bad. So, meron talaga tayong mga shades of gray, kung baga, di ba? Or meron talaga tayong mga side na bad tayo and good tayo. Siguro mag agree kayo sa akin about this. Because hindi naman talaga tayo mga totally perfect human beings. No? The infant fe feels the anxiety of losing a loved object accompanied by the sense of guilt for wanting to destroy the same object. So, makaka-feel yung isang bata. No? Magigilty siya kasi parang ah, meron siyang want na sirain yun. Pero later on, mafe-feel niya na pag nawala na yun, hindi na siya makakuha ng nurture or nourishment, no? So, yun yung nafe-feel during depressive position. So, merong urge yung bata na protektahan or alagaan yung object na yun. Like yung breast, no? Infant realized that his or her mother might leave her, so he begins to protect her. So, yun nga. Anxiety over losing a love object and a sense of guilt for wanting to destroy the love object. Okay, so ngayon, pupunta tayo sa mga psychic defense mechanisms na inintroduce ni Klein. So first is introjection. So here, the infants fantasize taking into their body those perceptions and experiences that they had with. So in this way, they could protect their ego. No? Um, next is projection. It is a fantasy that one's own feelings and actually reside into another person and not within their own body. So, in projection, uh, para bang pinapasa nila yung own feelings nila towards another person and hindi sa kanila. Para hindi sila makafeel ng anxiety. So, um, as what you can see, this is related also to the defense mechanisms of Freud, pero ginagawa or na-experience to ng mga infants. Okay, splitting is to manage the good and bad aspect of themselves. So, hinihiwalay nila, no, perceive also people and things as extremely good or bad. Like, for example, this doctor is a miracle worker, but that doctor is totally incompetent. So, may dalawang side yung person. So, this part here, or itong defense mechanism na to, para hindi makafeel ng anxiety yung isang bata, no, so hinihiwalay na niya yung tingin niya. Or this enable uh, them to see the positive and negative side also of themselves. Projective identification is when infants split off unacceptable parts of themselves and project them back into another object and finally introject them back into themselves in a changed or distorted form. So, ito naman, um, medyo complex yung process na to. No, this involves um, projection and introjection. No? Um, it's more like uh, pinoproject nila first yung feelings nila or yung mga unacceptable parts nila about themselves sa ibang bagay, then finally ini-introject nila ito no, pabalik sa kanila sa mas maayos na paraan or sa mas acceptable na paraan para hindi sila makafeel ng anxiety. So, para bang uh, you're trying to create no, na a much better reality because you cannot accept na ganun talaga yung mundo. Minsan may pagkaganito tayo, di ba? Para bang pinoproject natin first sa ibang tao na ganito siya, ganito, di ba? But later on, ang gagawin natin is um, we're trying to distort what is really the reality para hindi tayo makafeel ng anxiety. And para bang yun na yung papaniwala, papaniwalain natin na talagang nangyayari. 
Okay, so it's a complex process. No, it consists of both introjection and projection. Okay, so punta tayo sa mga terms ni Horn ay meron siyang term na internalizations means that the person takes into introjects aspects of the external world and then organizes those introjections into a psychologically healthy individual. So ito yung um, offspring or ito yung result no ng psychic defense mechanisms niya na the person takes into introjects aspects of the reality and then ang ginagawa niya is kinukuha niya or in-internalize niya ng maayos na hindi magulo para hindi siya makafeel ng anxiety no at para yun para maging okay sa kanya no so yun yung minsan gin ginagawa ito yung term or concept na sinasabi ni Klein ego is one sense of feeling and it matures on the first experience of feeding so yung breast feeding talaga important yun so dito nakaka-develop ng sense of feeling yung isang bata no or yung isang baby, superego is emerges earlier in life. It produces terror in infants, goes with the development of infants. So, since, di ba, yung superego, ito yung nagbibigay sa atin ng control. Para bang, because of this, hindi lang puro pleasure yung hinahanap or yung kailangan nating makuha. Nagkakaroon din tayo ng guilt feelings, no? Kaya, uh, nakakaproduce to ng terror sa mga bata or sa mga infants. Oedipus complex naman, ito yung stage din ni Freud. It begins much earlier in time. Fear of parents' retaliation, oh, child's retention of positive feelings towards both parents, and it enables children to recognize good and bad. So somehow, different yung pagkaka-explain ni Freud at ni Klein. So, ang um, main uh, tatandaan nyo lang is, it, this is the fear of parents' retaliation towards them. So, kailangan maging mabait or positive yung feeling ng uh, yung, yung child's retention of positive feelings towards both parents. Kailangan maging mab mabuti nung bata or yung infant sa kanyang magulang para hindi siya iwan. Okay? Um, dito rin nade-develop yung female edipal and male edipal development. Okay, so application of object relations theory. So Klein thought all ch children should be psychoanalyzed. So kailangan dapat daw lahat ng bata maka-experience ng ganitong klase ng ano, uh, therapy. Or she also substituted play therapy for dream work. So very psycho and psychoanalytic na part talaga siya ng psychodynamic theories. So the goal of Klinian psychotherapy is to reduce depressive anxieties and persecutory fears and to lessen the harshness of internalized objects. So just take note of that one. Actually, there are related theories in object relations theory like security to autonomy by Margaret Mahler. So um, definitely it is concerned on the infant's struggle to gain autonomy and a sense of self. Okay, just remember that. Also, Heinz Kohut's theory of development of the self. So this emphasizes the extensive application to borderline or narcissistic personality disorder. And also John Bowley's separation anxiety theory, wherein uh, it emphasizes the different stages of separation anxiety. And Mary Ainsworth attachment style, wherein it is a developed, she developed a technique for measuring the type of attachment style an infant develops towards his caregivers. So these are related theories kapag infant, no? During infancy period of a child. So you could really research and dig more into this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I believe that is everything that I could discuss to you. Thank you so much for listening. Just don't forget to read the Book of Christ. See you soon and God bless you all.